Hi, I'm Xarnial. I write poetry. I used to write poetry. I don't fucking write poetry anymore. And Tesh was like, hey, Xarn. And that was basically the noise you sent me over Discord in uh, text voice, which I don't know how to interpret that. Uh, I think it's like a know me, but anyways, let's get going to this. I named this poem. Uh, fuck, man, because I couldn't think of a name for the poem. <laughs> so anyways, let's get to it. This is very happy. <clears throat> Blue water swirling sideways for deeper currents run beneath. Blank staring sinners walk along the bottom's earthly heath. Through tangled kelp confounding, or coral reefs foot cutting, edged against an abyssal shelf, with full lungs of watery hell, hoping to go home. Some wander away, walk up waters to the surface, cloaked in kelp and cut up badly, till their un unrepentant souls behold a scowling moon with teeth a thousandfold whose whirling breath makes the wind go cold, whose will keeps the churning seas controlled. Those are earnest enough to take what's known, know themselves worth not, but blood and bone. Uh, that was the first poem. Let's see, uh, there's... That one's weird. Hey guys, here's a tip. If you ever have weird emotions, you can write poetry about them. All you have to do is rhyme, and then people are like, oh, that's good, and then they don't actually care, don't listen to them, you just write it for yourself. But that's what you do. Oh, that's the same poem. <clears throat> this is the second poem uh, uh, that I wrote when I was at work because work was boring the shit out of me. So I decided to write this one. My feet, feet hurt from walking, a subtle pain in the heel, dressed like a convict with no authorities to appeal. There's a nightly jailhouse where I may come and go. The prisoners are the guardsmen, but it doesn't bother them, though. Marched up and down along a conveyor belt station, making what I'll buy and buying the contradiction. Why not leave, then, if no one will stop me, and go where after, and go where from thereafter? Besides, these feet won't keep walking. These subtle thoughts abide, only voices talking. Where is my freedom? I've sold it for this. So you can tell I'm really optimistic about work. Uh, that poem has subtle themes about me not liking my job, uh, which you can tell by me not liking my oh, job. So subtle. Yeah, it's really subtle. <laughs> this is a good poem. Uh... Then when you write poems, then you get to come back. Here's the fun part, is you get to go back and reread your poems. And you have no idea if they're good, so we're just going to read this one. I named this one Bucket Fuck, because I like the way that it sounds when you say Bucket Fuck. I have no idea what that means, but it means something like this. I'm a good guy, but I got a lot of bad traits. Aggressive tendencies certainly keep this life from feeling innate. I'm only feeling good using alcohol as a way to sedate, like th lest these religious feelings keep me down, prostrate. See, I say the best cure is feeling connected to something timeless, just a product of the mind, and I would say that I'm mindless. I say that I'm sad, and the others ask what for, because I'm feeling as interesting as a soggy pillow fort. Damp and tent entrenched in ten pillows, billowing here, blow humidity, it's anything but mellow. Sure, that shit's a nice break. If you got nothing better to take your time to a more interesting place. Maybe that's why life keeps on moving. As such, see. I fuck so much that I cry come. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Probably the only reason I'm mad is because I get none. Oh, no. <laughs> Philosophical mindfuck is hardly a problem. It's not just me, <laughs> pussy cock, that should have been lead. This world keeps on turning. Tuning is spinning mind to the motion sick burning in the stomach. Everyone's got the same names, but they feel like different people. Everything's the same, man. I keep on changing. I'm only feeling when I'm mad or sad. It's better than being nobody. I'm probably not a good person, but fuck it. That'll be life till I kick the bucket. And I wrote randomly, it's probably time to get to work, I've been too lazy today. I don't know what that means, but that's bucket fuck, and that's all I have to do today. So, guys, go fucking go home and write better poetry than that. I'm leaving. <laughs> thank you, Zarnio. Thank you, thank you. I always enjoy your poetry. <laughs>